Gemini, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. Let's see what's going on. I hope you're all doing amazing. Let's see what your messages are. Okay, now this may resonate from your perspective or whoever you're dealing with. This could be somebody in your life presently or coming towards you in the future. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Ooh, what's happening here? Okay, there is a lot of changes going on. I feel like... Wow. OMG. Some of you may be seeing one, one, one. Okay. Patience and timing is at play here right now. Okay. I feel like somebody's pretty guarded here. Somebody's not trusting somebody. Spirit is letting you know that patience and timing again is a key factor here in order to have success, in order to move forward. Uh, I am getting, yeah, there's a, a stressful situation here. This can represent that, you know, these changes are happening because somebody needs to go through their karma. There's been somebody either in your energy or this is you. Again, don't shoot the messenger. This is the messages I'm getting that is very toxic. Could be a Capricorn or a Pisces. I also have Sagittarius energy here and Aries energy here quite prominently. Okay, those are the main signs. And I have Aquarius and I have Taurus as well, Scorpio and Leo. Okay, so some of you may have those placements. But honestly, the signs don't matter. It's the energy. Uh, that's what Tarot's about is the energy. And the energy is saying that, you know, in order to have a victory here, somebody needs to like get out of this toxic energy. Somebody's manifesting like somebody being codependent. I've never had that before. This is like... We've got the magician right next to the devil energy. Okay. Somebody is reaping their karma for manifesting almost like a codependency. It's like, I want you to be codependent on me. I'm going to do whatever it takes for you to be codependent on me. And it's like somebody is trying to kind of like, no, no, <laughs> no, you're not. Is almost what I'm getting. Somebody's in this protective energy. Like I don't trust you. So it's kind of like somebody needs to speak up here. There, there's been a lack of truth here. Uh, and so what the Wheel of Fortune represents. Is that there's going to be a turning point here. Be patient. You, you know this is like you can overcome the obstacles here. There's a new beginning, but sometimes you need to take a break from somebody here because there's a lack of team effort. It's like somebody is giving more than the other person, like somebody is codependent on the other person or trying to make somebody codependent on them. I don't like that energy. This is somebody like messing with somebody's head. Wanting to make them codependent. I don't like that. Let's go ahead and get the double deck or vintage deck next. We're also going to get confessions from a soulmate. What your person would like to say to you now or coming towards you in the future. Okay. We're going to pull those messages near the end of the reading. What I'm also seeing, uh, Gemini, is that like there's a new solid beginning coming in here for you. you. You just need to be patient because this new beginning is a bit of a risk. It's a bit of a risk. Okay. Because I feel like... There's been a lack of trust. Games being played. It's like, like I said, it's like somebody is trying to manifest codependency. And that's what's making it toxic. Trying to make one person depend on the other. Somebody needs to guard and protect themselves against somebody because somebody's trying to make somebody codependent here. I've never had that before. Let's see what's going on. Let's pull this double decker. I just saw temperance again. So definitely there's something to do with healing, patience, and timing. So maybe somebody needs a break after heartbreak here, and it's going to take patience and timing. And somebody here is pushing for somebody to depend on them. What is that? Let's see what's going on for Gemini. What's going on for Gemini? Or watch it. Maybe this person may become codependent on you or vice versa. Ten of Wands. This is like, you know, I've got a lot of responsibilities. They're weighing me down. Ah, see? Be careful. 
Somebody could become very codependent on you or you on them. Okay? And you're going to need to guard and protect yourself from this person. Because, you know, this person's going to end up weighing you down with all the responsibilities. What's going on with Gemini? What do we need to know? Oh, okay. The devil again. Double clarification of the devil. Codependency, addictions. Watch, this person may be codependent, addictive. Like they have addictive personality that could be addicted to eating too much, spending too much, drinking too much, porn. Um, could be anything. Spending too much, you know. Could be as simple as codependency. Spirit's telling you to guard yourself. Be careful. You may, you may start to gain the clarity that this person has either addictions or codependency issues. <sighs> Clarify the devil energy. King of Pentacles. Ooh, codependency money-wise, monetary-wise. Who's this King of Pentacles? Queen of Pentacles. Oh, boy. This person wants to manifest a commitment with you because they feel like you have money, good luck, and fortune. They feel like they can have st stability with you and that they can take a break. Ooh, be careful. They feel like you would take on all the responsibility. They don't have to work. They don't have to do anything. Ooh, be careful. That's not going to be for all of you, but that's what I'm seeing. There could be bad codependency issues here. Clear for the Queen of Pentacles. I, I've never gotten this so bad before. Like, Ace of Cups. Clear for the Ace of Cups. I mean, that's a new blessing trying to come in. Two of Cups. Clear for the Two of Cups. Chariot. King of Swords. Okay, so you're meant to move forward towards new love here and have a deep spiritual connection and get out of a codependent situation. This King of Swords means business. They cut out people, places, and things that are not for their highest good. This chariot's on the move. Spirit's saying, you know, make head over heart decisions here because there could be somebody coming into your life or somebody in your life presently that, you know, is going to end up being codependent on you. You're going to end up having all the, all the responsibilities. You need to guard and protect yourself against this person and speak your truth that you feel like, you know, you have all the responsibilities or they're putting them all on you and it's creating a lot of unnecessary stress for you, okay? I'm getting that you're going to feel the need to protect yourself from this person. This person's a bit of, fool, bit of a fool with their money I'm getting. You do have new love coming in here and you are meant to move forward. For some of you here, you may relocate here. Okay, let's clarify this King of Swords. What's this King of Swords up to for Gemini? Wish. Okay, so Spirit's saying, be careful. Oh, boy. This person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with, you may feel love for this person, but this person's very selfish. You may need to make a head over heart decision here and start to set boundaries with this person because you're going to see the truth of it. This person's going to play some mind games with you. Some of you here are stress you out because you're going to end up having all the responsibilities. This person has either addiction issues or codependency issues. They may see you as a couple, but this person is actually, um, yeah, they, they're, they love their attention. They're a bit of a fool with their money I'm getting here. Clarify the Nine of Cups, please, for Gemini. Strength. You're going to need strength because this person's going to be pulling some crap. I'm sorry to say that. I don't normally come up with that. But Spirit's telling you to pull your energy away from this person. They can be quite sneaky. They may have addiction issues you don't know about. Can you re-clarify the devil energy, please, for Gemini? Why is a devil here twice? Oh, 
Nine of Cups again. This person's quite selfish and self-centered, whoever this is. Could be a father. Could be an Aries. Could be a Taurus. Look at the Queen of Swords on the bottom. Be careful with this person. I'm just, I'm getting that they're... They're quite selfish. This is this is like somebody that, you know, keeps everything to themselves. I mean, uh, this is my emperor card. Depending what surrounding cards are with the emperor, usually the emperor is really great. They're like a business owner, you know. But in this case, this is somebody that's quite selfish, keeps everything to themselves, their thoughts. And we're definitely holding back something. We're trying to get away with something. You may feel the need to put up your sword here because this person is not being honest. There's either codependency issues or addiction issues that this person has. What are they trying to get away with with the Seven of Swords? That's too many. Can I get one for the Seven of Swords, please? Mm. Jealousy, arguments, drama. This person likes attention. Again, this can be vice versa. You know, depends who's watching as to whose perspective it plays out from. But this is somebody that likes attention, can be really selfish. They can be like, really seem in charge, but actually they're, they're somebody that um, will c cause you to be guarded at the end of the day. This person... They're going to stress you out. You know, they're going to end up leaving you with all the responsibilities if they haven't already. That is their intention. They do like attention. They do like drama. They like the excitement of it. Five of Wands. And Spirit's telling you here, you know, you may end up wanting to take a break from this person and start setting those boundaries. Clarify the five of wands. There's too many people here involved. There is. So for some of you, not all of you, it can be that they like attention, not just from you, but from others. That's not crystal clear, though. Why is the five of wands here, please? Oh, that's too many. Can I get one for the five of wands? Waiting. So you may start to feel quite guarded, argumentative, jealous, or angry because you feel like you've already put a lot of effort into this connection. You may feel like they're holding back on something. I feel like they are or they could be. They're keeping their thoughts to themselves. It could be addictions to themselves or the fact that, you know, you might end up going to work. They might end up staying home and sticking you with all the responsibility once you're married or in a commitment. Just be very careful, okay? And you're not going to be sure what to do. You're, you, you know, Spirit's telling you, don't turn your blindfold on. Don't just sit there and wait for somebody. Trust your intuition here with the moon in the background. You see the moon in the background. You're meant to trust your intuition. This person's holding back something, either an addiction or codependency issues. Or, you know, they may be all full of love in this deep connection right now. Um wanting marriage or commitment or long term but you're going to find out that they're holding on to something they're holding back something an addiction to a person a place a thing like i said it could be eating too much drinking too much smoking spending too much money porn um other people there could be other people which will create jealousy issues uh, they're trying to they're holding back something they're holding back something i'm not sure what let's ask again What's this person holding back from Gemini or vice versa? What is this person holding back? Okay. You're going to end up, I feel, for some of you feeling very guarded because you've been waiting for commitment and Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. So it's interesting. You, you actually may block them from... From commitment, once you gain the clarity here with the Ace of Swords, we've got the Nine of Wands twice as well. So 
you're going to start to feel this need to guard and protect yourself because you want the real deal. And this person is going to end up holding you with all the responsibilities. That's what I'm getting. They're going to end up weighing you down. Just be careful. So spirits, you know, I'm telling you to be patient. Temperance is here twice. Be patient. Don't rush into anything because this person's holding back something that I feel, you know, Yeah. Anyway, that's up to you, but that's what I'm getting. Let's get the mutual energies, okay? So let me know in the comment section how that resonates. Uh, it could be you, could be your person, could be somebody coming towards you in the future. It's it's a new beginning in love, yeah. Uh, it's like they offer you like maybe commitment, but it never happens, and then you end up getting stuck with all the responsibility. It could be um, traveling, movement forward here. It could be a physical move, like house to house, home to home, something like that. Um, you may feel like you want to break from this person. You may end up talking to other people to try to figure out what to do because this person's a bit of a fool. They just want attention and they want somebody they can be stable with. Like that, again, you're going to be left holding the bag is kind of what I'm getting. Like they're going to end up becoming a burden to you. Okay, let's get the mutual energies between Gemini and whoever's on their mind, please. What are the mutual energies between Gemini and whoever's on their mind? How are they both mutually feeling toward each other in this connection? Ooh. I'm sorry, Pisces, but I've got the devil energy three times. This is very toxic, codependent type of situation or addictions here. A new connection, toxic, obsessive, unhealthy, codependency, or it could be financially, it could be that one or the other of you have addictions, okay? Stability, retirement goals. So I feel like, you know, that's what you both want, but somebody's going to end up like, it's not good. It's going to be a one-sided relationship. It's going to be a one-sided relationship. It may be stable. But one person's going to end up doing all the work while the other person stays home or has addictions or it could be all of those things. Uh, the devil showed up here three times. That's, that's not a good thing. Do you remember when we came out with like passion? Was that you that came out with passion right away? Let's see. See? Somebody is like manifesting here, but it's dishonestly. They're they're doing it dishonestly. Okay. I feel like if you set boundaries here with this person, I feel like you're going to want to take a break. I feel like when you do that and you go towards a new beginning, I feel like you will meet new love. Because right now, this is something toxic. The devil showed up here three times. This per person's holding back something. You're... I feel like you've already put a lot of effort into this connection, but you're going to end up being guarded and talking to other people here. Because you feel like this is your person, this is your ship coming in, but in actual fact, this person is not who you think they are. Okay, anyway, that's what I'm getting. Don't shoot the messenger. One, two, three. Are you ready? Let's see what the confessions are. First message. Surprise. Get ready to receive something special soon that expresses how I feel about you. The gift could come in many forms in the physical or spiritual realms, and it will bring us closer. The romantic gesture, gesture 3D communication, or telepathic communications is on its way to you. Oh, it might be a surprise, all right. This person... They're going to offer you this deep connection. It's going to feel quite intense, but they're not really who you think they are. They have some kind of addictive personality or obsessive behavior or toxic behavior, like codependence, something. Just be careful. That's all I'm saying. Okay, next message. Divine guidance. I'm amazed at how the universe brought us together. Everything keeps falling into place for us. There are divine forces that work guiding us into union. Divine is working behind the scenes for us. If you look back at our journey, you will see it too. Okay, so this person may try to convince you that this is a very deep spiritual connection. There's a lot of love 
And again, yeah, it shows that there is a deep connection, but even some deep connections can have flaws. If this person has codependency issues, you know, uh, addictive personality, addicted to something, you know, you're going to end up wishing you'd never met this person. So just, just be on, on guard. That's why the nine of wands is here twice. Spirit is telling you to protect your energy, protect your assets, your money, your resources. This person, um, just be careful. Okay, next message. Wait. Oh, I haven't wanted to admit to myself how I really feel for you. It means stepping out of my comfort zone. It's time. I know it's taking me a while. I do know what you need and I want to do this right. Please wait for me. I will do things right between us when I come forward to you. So, you know, this person may have had good intentions, but they're showing you one face. They're actually another. They have issues. Somebody here has issues, whether it's you or them. Okay. They may want to anxiously move forward because this person is selfish. They know once they get with you, they can have long term. Okay. Um, They've been waiting for this. Somebody I feel to be codependent on, to be stable with. They're anxious to be stable with somebody, but there's some dishonesty going here. And I feel like they're holding back, you know, who they really are. Okay, so don't shoot the messenger. That's what I'm getting. Let's get your advice and guidance for Gemini. What's the advice and guidance, please, for Gemini, for their highest good, please? What do they need to know? That's why Spirit's telling you to be patient, okay, with temperance here. Take time to make any kind of decisions and choices here. And we've got the King and Queen of Swords, so what's that, what's that's telling me is... There may need to be a period of you blocking this person out and setting those necessary boundaries. There may be silence between the two of you in the future because you will start to recognize with the Ace of Swords that this person is has issues. Okay, Tiger, my gosh, patience again. That's three times and the devil three times. Okay, so it's up to you if you want to work through these toxic issues with this person, but it's going to end up weighing you down. You have the eight to the nine to the ten of wands. This person's going to end up wearing you out. Okay, either financially, emotionally, or both. Okay, it's like they're going to, they're going to exhaust you. You are being reminded that persistence is what is necessary to attain your goals. You need to be patient and trust that the universe will help you through your challenges and divine timing. Success is guaranteed. Okay, so I guess it comes to a matter of how much patience do you have? And how much effort are you willing to take on? Ten of Wands shows me that you will be at the end of your rope and then you will be ready for something or somebody new um, because this person has or will be wearing you out. Okay, because they have some toxic traits here. That's what I'm getting. Okay, I hope that resonates for you again. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm always going to tell you what I see. So sending you much love, much light. I will see you all again next time. Bye for now.